Hello everybody, I will be sh teaching you guys how to download a Minecraft Feed the Beast server. So let's get started. First of all, you will want to download this, Client Download. And you want to click here, Download EXE. And then click Run. And then your computer may say it's a virus just because it's an EXE file and it can't like read it. And then when it can't read a file, it just assumes that it's a virus. So just ignore that because it's not a virus can I promise you and then save it in a spot that you can reach readily like if you just tell it to save and it's just gonna dump it somewhere you'll never find it again so after it downloads you'll see this screen then that you'll see that little loading and then you'll see this it has this is the console it shows you like what it's doing in the background which is kind of cool because even when you think it's like if it's not loading anymore this will just keep like putting in numbers and then you'll know it's still loading and then it's still like thinking because this is like a huge file and you kind of need something like this and then this is the options on this it shows you like how much RAM you want to dedicate to this and then it also shows you here where you've saved it so this is helpful because on the regular minecraft you don't have a choice on how much ram it uses unless you get into some pretty complicated stuff and like changing up like different settings and the cmd commands and whatnot and then this is just user friendly just click two gigabytes yeah I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my computer, so 2 gigabytes is pretty pretty good, and it never crashes, and I never have problems with it. So, this is what you want, like, this, these are all the different things you can download, like, the, um, just a whole bunch of Feed the Beast servers, and as you can see here, it says download server, we'll get into that a little later. First of all, what you will want to do is select what you want to download so I I selected that I wanted to download feed the beast feed the beast unleashed and what you, what you want to do is press launch there you'll see a loading screen I've already downloaded it so it's not gonna take so long but it will take like about 15 minutes for it to download and then you'll have it like all the time and it'll just take super quick like well super quick is pretty quick for like the amount of stuff it has like amounts of mods and what what not it like has a huge just a ton and ton of stuff on it so you're gonna download you're gonna open this so that your server your computer will have the necessary programs to open your server because if you don't do this your server will not be able to work just on the regular minecraft because you'll need Forge, and doing this installs Forge on your computer. And then you have all this. This has all the feed, all the mods in Feed the Beast Unleashed, 118 mods active. This is all your mods right here. Then, yeah. And then what you want to do to get the server running. See, this is the command. It just changed a bunch. To get the server working is that you'll want to go back. To this screen and then click here download server then you want to save that in another spot like a f file somewhere because otherwise it's just going to dump a whole bunch of files on your computer i saved it in this file feed the beast mc server and then what you want to do it will just put all like each and every one of these files are important do not delete any of them and when some the like this is the server start this is what you want to click when you want to start your server and whitelist and ops and server and yeah a whole bunch of stuff so ops is who you want to op on your server it's just me and my friend is opt on my server and this is just server log and whatever i'm not really sure what that does though and then whitelist whoever you want to like join your server you'll want to type their minecraft username here otherwise they will not be able to join the server and then here on 
here on this little notepad you'll see this and here there will be blanks here this will be blank the server IP and then this will be blank this is option this doesn't this is just your MOTD whatever you want it to say when people like see your server then spawn and whatever view distance game mode difficulty and then so this will be blank so for this server IP you'll want to go here to CMD the command prompt and then type in I I P C O N F I G IP config and then you'll want to type in the IPv4 address which is right here for me so same thing this is the um, this is kind of like the code of the computer for the network for your one wireless router and you'll want to type that there and then this is their server port and then your server port it just like it are for minecraft it's like by default it's 25565 but I have it as 66 because I have two servers on this network and I didn't want them to like clash with each other so this is I put that as 66 and then what you're want gonna want to do is go on your internet and type in here on the search bar 192.168.0.0 and then this is how you access your router to do the port forwarding. So I have a Netgear router, so this is how Netgear will look like. So you want to click here, port forwarding, port triggering. And then as you can see, this is the feed the B server. And then my other vanilla survival server is right here. So to when you first do this, you'll want to get that IPv4 address that we saw earlier on the command prompt. And then the one that the same one that you typed in, you'll want to type in right here the last number because only the last number changes. These are all the same for everyone. You'll want to go here. You'll see a screen after you put the the whatever number here and press add. You'll see a screen similar to this well it will be this for neck gear and then then you'll want to type in this same number that you typed in right here to here here and i believe here too or no this adds automatically so you want to do that and then select the computer you are working on so it's this one the one that the i mean the one that's like running your server then these are all the different computers I have on my network so that's the computer you want to set and press apply after that leave these two alone these don't don't need to change and then press apply and then you have done this and then you'll see like this like a server name on this would be blank first then after you would see like server name and then like the name of the file kind of that's what I kind of saw but I'm not sure if it's just the name of the file but these are the names to the files of like where I keep my servers in and then after that what you want to do is press here server start and then you'll see this loading the CMD loading then you'll also see this screen so at first it will so it will show like preparing spawn area preparing spawn area 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 100 percent and then when it's like completely done this still has quite a while to go to load once it you'll know when it's finished loading because this will stop moving then this will like a whole bunch of things like that it's not done yet just wait a little longer just right there now once you do it for the first time you'll want to press stop here T O P stop that's after the first time and then you'll want to restart it 
make sure everything's running correctly before you join it. So we'll just restart that. And then what you'll want to do, go back to your Feed the Beast Unleashed and go to Multiplayer. This is when you add the server. Type in here, add server, whatever. You want to type in here like the name of the server and then the server address would be like the that number the gateway for your computer so mine it's 192.168.1.7 and then colon that other number the little other number that we saw earlier the same number this right here that number that same number you want to type in there after a colon and type that number and my server has loaded up now we can join it so we have joined the server and now I'll show you how your friends can join their server is go for them on their screen it will look kind of like this for their server address they would have to type your IP address so how you would find your IP address is type in here on Google my IP address it will usually be here like on the first first line on Google it will say your public IP address is and then a bunch of numbers then your friends will want to type that here followed by colon colon and this number so that your servers the ser their computer knows which server on your network to, do, to connect to so yeah, that's technically that's all you need to do on this. If you have downloaded a vanilla server, it's not much different. It's just it's much more cooler to have a survival server instead of just a plain old vanilla server. So yeah, thanks for listening.